Tarkatirtha. Lakshman Shastri Joshi was an Indian scholar, of Sanskrit, Hindu dharma, and a Marathi literary critic, and supporter of Indian independence. Mahatma Gandhi chose him to be his principal advisor in his campaign against untouchability. Early life and family Lakshman Shastri was born in a Dashastha Brahmin family in 1901 to Balaji and Chandrabhaga Joshi, in the village of Pimpalnar, dual district in the present-day state of Maharashtra. He left home at age 14 after studying to be a priest. He finally settled in Wai, a historic temple town on the banks of the Krishna River. In Wai, he studied Sanskrit, Hindu Dharma and Indian philosophy at the Pradnya Pathshala, a renowned Vedic school. Later at in 1923 he earned the degree, Tarkatirtha, or literally, Master of Logic, at the government Sanskrit Mahadyalaya of Calcutta. In 1927, he married Satyawati Mulherkar. They had two sons and two daughters. Their elder son, Madhakar had a distinguished career at IBM in research and management. Career Joshi spent all his life in Y. He was closely associated with Pradnya Pathshala all his life. Although a Brahmin, he spent his life going against tradition. In 1932, at the age of 29, he was jailed by the British for his role in the freedom movement. However while in prison, he quickly gained a reputation as a Hindu Dharma scholar. Under the tutelage of Vinoba Bhavi, he learned English when Vinoba G came to Y to study under Kawalananda Saraswati. It was during one of those internments that Mahatma Gandhi, troubled by respectable Brahmin priests shying away from officiating at the intercaste marriage of his son Devdas, a Vanya, or merchant class boy, to Lakshmi, the daughter of C. Rajagopalachari, a Brahmin, and later the second Governor General of Independent India approached the young Joshi for his opinion on whether such a marriage was against Hindu dharma. With his thorough knowledge of the Shastras, Joshi not only judged the marriage acceptable but also performed the wedding ceremony. In the 1930s, Joshi came under the influence of radical humanist M. N. Roy and quickly assimilated and embraced Western philosophical systems. He questioned whether those that had the knowledge had the wisdom to lead, and recognized those that followed had inadequate knowledge. He was the member of Roy's Radical Democratic Party until its dissolution in 1948. He wrote a Marathi treatise called Vedic Sankriti Cha Vikas development of Vedic civilization in 1951. This treatise was based on six lectures he delivered at the University of Pune, where he traced the evolution of Vedic culture and its influence on modern India. He wrote a critique arguing that modern Indians became conflicted between meeting material needs and attaining spiritual enlightenment, thus fostering a collective weakness, disharmony and allowing caste differences to prevail. In 1960 he led the project on creating Vishwakish, a Marathi language encyclopedia, and Dharmakosha, a Marathi transliteration of the ancient Vedic, Hindu Sanskritic hymns. In Y, he also opened a hostel for students of the Dalit castes, a factory for making handmade paper and a printing press. <laughs> <laughs> Literature His first book, Shuddhasarvasvam, is a treatise in Sanskrit on the philosophical basis of religious conversion, published in 1934. In that same year, he edited the Dharmakosha, which encompassed 26 volumes and 18,000 pages, encoding the basic texts and commentaries on the varied aspects of Dharma and Dharma Shastras from 1500 BC to the 18th century. In 1938, he wrote Anand Mimamsa, a critical commentary on the theory or ras and aesthetics in Marathi literature. Later in 1973, he wrote Adunak Marathi Sahityachi Samiksha, a study of the tenets of modern Marathi literary criticism. He also wrote Hindu Dharmashi Samiksha, in 1940, critically examining the concepts and foundation of Hinduism, and Jadawad, in 1941, a survey of the history and development of materialism in Indian and Western philosophical traditions. He wrote Vedic Sanskriticha Vikas in 1958 to much acclaim. Amongst other works are Upanishadanke Marathi Bashantar, a translation of the 18 principal Upanishads into Marathi. Recognition and death 
For his outstanding contribution, he received the Sahitya Akademi Award from India's National Academy of Letters in 1955. For his distinguished service, he was awarded the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest honour in 1976. He was awarded an honorary doctorate in literature from Bombay University in 1975. In 1992 he was awarded the Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian honour, in recognition of a lifetime of exceptional and distinguished service to India. He died at the age of 94. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>